Okay, hope everybody's having an excellent um, day, and I just wanted to get through some stuff that just came, and I just picked up the mail, had to redo this video due to a phone call, but I wanted to get through that. So the first thing I want to do is promote uh, Zane Savage at Shuffle Trades. Very cool to get a Shuffle Trades in. I haven't done that in a few months, um, and I just thought that would be neat. That's my return envelope there. Looks like somebody liked a comment there. And uh, you send a card and get a card. And it has to be an autograph card. It could be IP, TTM, or it could be even a certified autograph. And look at that gorgeous autograph, shoveltrays.com. Check that out. Uh, very little risk and very big reward. I don't. I think I sent a 90s pro. I mean a 2000s prospect. To, uh, probably a 2013 autographed card. I just don't remember. Shoveltrays.com. It was a duplicate one I had. And um, here is a really cool uh, return I got. Hometown Signatures of Mike Scott. Did not have that one. Very, very cool. This is a Panini one, so there is no logo on there. I just don't know what uniform that is, if that's Astros or Yankees or whatever team he was on. I think he was on the Astros, but I just don't remember what else he was on because it does not necessarily say on the back there. But Mike Scott did not have his autograph. Very cool addition. So check out Shuffle Trades, and you want to make sure when you send them, put them in a card saver. So that is very cool. The next thing that I got uh, yesterday was at the bins, and I found this official game puck for the Wa Western Hockey League. And on the back of it says official game puck, Western Hockey League. And there is the commissioner's um, pretend signature on there, the pre-printed signature made in Canada. also says made in Canada, and the rubber here is very hard to see. But I wanted to show you what these are. And this is a Reddit um, uh, article type thing, and there's different types of... Uh, pucks here, but these are the official merch pucks. Uh, there's official merch pucks that will say official game puck on them. These are usually pucks that could have been used in a game, but for some reason they weren't. These seem to be most common autograph pucks, so more than likely it came from a giveaway or a um, store, I mean the, the official team store, not really sure. Um, but they're made just like the pucks, I believe, and they probably were not used, so that would probably be good for autographing, but I don't know who anybody in the WHL would probably sign that, but this was less than a dollar, so a very cool display if I decide to keep that. The last thing I want to talk about was that video, that rant video I made about the eBay seller that was gouging people and putting crazy prices on things like a $12 price tag on a fractional half of a cent stamp value. And I got this envelope here today. It came lightning quick from Henry's A1 Stamps off of eBay. I'm not exactly sure what his eBay store name is. Non-machinable, do not bend. I think I ordered them Friday or something ridiculous and they came Monday from Georgia all the way to Oregon. And we're going to open this up here. Oops. There we go. And I wanted to see... Ah, I got the puff out of the bag here. I uh, wanted to see, all right, there is the bag, I mean, in a Ziploc bag, I spent $8, so $7.99 free shipping for a 1,000 small U.S. stamps, and they said there's heavy duplication in there. Now, let's just see what we can get out of here. I just want to pull a fraction of these. I think I just saw the stamp that was in question here. It was green, um, a green Jefferson stamp, I believe. I don't know if I can find it here, but there's all kinds of cool things. There's a 25 cent stamp. It looks like the post office missed it. It looks like somebody also cut it with the scissors there. So you always have to be careful that a lot of these stamps in these junk bags might be trimmed uh, by people who are not very good with scissors. But there's a lot of cool, it looks like pre-canceled Springfield, Missouri. People collect pre-canceled stamps. They were canceled at the post office first. I'm sorry about the, the lighting there. Um, but you know, lots and lots of stamps. And I just saw that one that we were looking for, the Jefferson stamp. I wanted to hopefully find that just to show you that it was in here. And it was in it looked like it was in better condition than the one I saw for 12 bucks or whatever it was. And I, I told somebody, I said, a thousand stamps, if you um, even charge only five cents for that, that's fifty dollars and I've only have eight dollars spent into it. I was also looking for stamps that might be this one might not even be used, this two cent stamp there. 
So uh, sometimes you will find unused stamps in there. It looks like it was never used. Uh, a lot of times they have dull gum on the back of it. I would never lick it. But that dull gum there on some of these uh, newer stamps from the 70s, that might be a two cent saving. So you never know. Sometimes you might make your money back. Not usually on bags like this because sometimes they get cherry picked. But people have tens of thousands of stamps that they look at. Here's a Chicago, Illinois. And this is from like probably 19... 10 or 1920, somewhere in that particular range. Uh, very cool stamp there. I don't know my history of my old stamps there, but I just wanted to shake this bag and see if I could find um, a Jefferson stamp because, um, you know, they're very, very common. There's billions of those probably still in collections. I've seen collections where there's hundreds of those stamps in there. And like I said, it was a bright green stamp, and unfortunately there's a lot of other bright green stamps in here. Um, but really fun and there's a lot of I noticed a lot of document stamps in here uh, flipping through just now um, what is a document oh this is a ooh, this is a really beautiful stamp that may have paid for the whole thing this seven cent stamp I know it's probably canceled and it's been soaked off an envelope it looks like but a beautiful seven cent stamp amazing quality stamp there that's really really nice um, it's a very, very beautiful displayable stamp, which I may not even have for my book. There's dozens of varieties of those, so you have to check with your guides and, and, and see if there's any hidden watermarks on there. But that's a really amazing McKinley stamp. Oh my gosh. Here's a very nice Marshall stamp there. It may not even have been canceled. It looks like it was on an envelope before, but it looks like it was missed. That is a very beautiful example to put in a book there. It's not super well centered, but it's not been used, so on the front there and again um, you get a lot of stuff like this wood duck from the 1990s and 80s or 90s and that has absolutely no value but again there's different varieties of those as well too and there's different varieties of these too there's different uh, printing press ones and there's like different so there's like 11 cent variety and I think there's like a 8 cent variety or something if I'm not mistaken I I've, haven't looked at my stamp books in a while so that's a really another excellent stamp to put in your book and here's another cool one. Here's an Einstein stamp. And I know that I'm not handling these with stamp tongs, but I don't really care. They're mine now. A cool Einstein stamp. I mean, that is... And a lot of times what I do with some of the more common stamps, I, I glue these onto the sacrilege, but I glue these onto the corner of an index card. And I have a neat subject, and somebody might be more likely to sign an index card with a little picture of a stamp on it instead of a... And here's another stamp here. 29 cent one. That was one of the first self-adhesive stamps, I believe. So that's really neat. A little piece of history there. Not valuable, but sometimes people get history and value mixed up. So that's a really cool... Again, I wanted to show you one of those um, document stamps here. Um, if I can find it here before I finish the video here. Uh, come on, document stamp. Uh, there's more pre-canceled stamps. There's quite a lot of those. I didn't want to dump out the entire... Ba oh, here we go. Well, this is not a document stamp, but I believe this is a postage due stamp. A very, very ancient, early 20th century, or maybe even late 1800s postage due stamp. That is very cool. So it's telling somebody that they have postage due of two cents. That's amazing. Somebody forgot to put two cents on their envelope back in the day. Maybe they licked them on there and it fell off. Here's an old 32 cent stamp that would make a very nice addition to somebody's book there. That's really pretty cool. Um, but document stamps are basically what they were for like taxes. I mean, not taxes, but um, uh, there's forms that you, um, uh, stock certificates, that's what I'm trying to get at, stock certificates. And of course, I drop a bunch of stamps on the floor. I mean, again, I cannot find, I wanted to show you those document stamps, and I saw them, um, but I don't know where they ended up here. Um, there's a nice Nimitz stamp. What else do we have here? Here's a uh, stamp that um, is very commonly, ah, here we go, Here's that's not a document stamp, but this is one half cent. If you have another one of those, you can make a full cent and use it, and this has got its original gum on it. Brand new stamp from the 1950s. That is 50s, 60s. That's absolutely amazing. Um, that was cool to find that in there. Again, I haven't found the document stamps, and um, there's another one more. Before we go, one more stamp. I hope I haven't shown you this one. This is, I believe, another McKinley stamp, and um, that is, uh, uh, maybe it's Wilson. Maybe it's Wilson. Uh, yeah, it's Wilson. Very, very old stamp there. Very, very cool. 
Really neat stamp there. Really neat piece of history. Um, check out Henry's Stamps on eBay. I don't know his exact store, but it says Henry A1 Stamps. And you can get all kinds of cool grab bags of stamps. You never know. You might find some new stamps in there that you can use on an envelope. Hope you enjoyed that, and thank you for watching.